Now then guys, Matt here from ONJ Automotive and today we have a little Ford Fiesta 1 litre EcoBoost on the drive uh, and this needs a timing belt. Surprise, surprise. Um, but yeah, so this one, we're going to do it as a, like a mini series showing you the process of how to do it, like all in different steps. So we'll do like one episode on taking the rocker cover off, well getting to the rocker cover, taking the rocker cover off, one, one episode doing like the ancillaries, um, like taking the alternator off, the start motor off, the poly V belt, all that side of things. And uh, we've already, uh, I'll do another episode on like the sump removal, bits and pieces like that, explain you through that. Although we do have a video of a focus one. So I'll show, I'll go through all of that with you, uh, how to do everything on it individually, step, step by step as we work through this one. So yeah, we'll just move up to uh, the car itself, grab a light. So yeah, uh, as you can see, rocker cover's buried. So yeah, we'll work through it, showing you how to remove everything, what you need to take off to get to uh, the rocker cover and all that lot. So yeah, we'll. Uh, uh, that's basically the start of this, and I think I'll have to m maybe make an opening for each individual individual video. So we'll do this one as like the opening sequence for the rocker cover removal i believe so yeah let's get dug into it and we'll make a start right folks so you join me at the top of the engine and uh what we're going to be starting off by doing is removing all the top components to get the rocker cover off so we can actually work through it properly we're gonna have to take all like heat shields off to get the uh, cat off and out of the way but yeah we'll go start off all the way up here so airbox removal first off clip out as uh, to set the plug off 7mm jubilees at each side of there and then pop that off there and get her out that way so yeah we'll uh, make a start on her i'll just have to grab some tools so uh, i apologize that i'm going to be back and forth away from the uh, camera so what we got here yep thanks guys so seven mils one Two on that, and they simply just maneuver off. I say, there we go. Right. One thing that might be an idea is just squeezing that, popping that out of the way so it's not causing any grief. Sorry, guys, not you then. Uh, not ideal. But pop that off there. We'll just start moving things out of the road. Pick under there, so move that bit back, and then pull it just simply pulls out like a so. Alright, so next up, move that because that's winding me. Winding coil packs, which is just a series of plugs pop, pop, and pop like so. Move that plug out of the way. This, all this wiring seems a bit strange and strangely rooted. But <clears throat> who's, who's to know if uh, I'm the first person in here? Is the only thing. Is the only thing. So yeah, uh, plug out the way. Then plugs out the way. So one cam position sensor plug. I'm going. I'm going to go grab another torch in a second if this thing carries up plate enough like that. Uh, injector, rail plug, second cam, cam position sensor plug. So that's all that wire in there, unplugged, so out of the road. So then you've got a series of six 8mm bolts. So now I'll just grab little impact, get those out. Like so, and then these just pull up. So make sure you keep everything nicely organised. I'm just going to go get a different light. This one's doing my editing already. Get 
bring all the light. So we can see nicely. Right, so that's that. So next up, take your uh, airflow sensor plug out of the way. Trim clip, trim clip removal. Like so. In there. They have a tendency to break on the uh, on the rocker cover, so just be a bit careful. Like that. I never had it, but at least it's semi intact. So, so that's all that wiring. So next up, we'll be going for ten mil down there, ten mil down there, uh, and a jubilee clip there, and then one end of this uh, pipe, and then that gets that. And then there's also a, a vacuum pipe clip at the back there that you need to remove. So then at least you can get that full air, air pipe out. So what I'll do first off, I've got a seven here, so I may as well do that one first. The Jubilee clip closest to the turbocharger. Remove that. And then that's like so. Squeeze them too. Will we get this off? This end off? This isn't the ideal one to get out. So it's, hang on then. it's not wanting to play ball. Sometimes I have to be a little less gentle. You just need to squeeze the sides in so that it can squeeze. There we go. So that's them out. So now the tens. Extension bar. Terminal socket. And you're not a ten mil socket here that I've grabbed. Of course not. One out. Out. That's them. Make sure you grab it, grab both into your organizer. So that's that. So now let's see if we can get this off at this end because that seems very stuck on that turbo. Jesus, very stuck on the turbo. What we can do about getting that off. There we go, she's nearly, nearly gone. Uh, uh, now that just pop out like a sir. You off there, you off there, you off there, so that's that. The trim clip at the back, work that out. So then that, out of the way should just slide off like so you slide out of there and then on the back of the air pipe there's just a little spring clip you need to just squeeze together and then that just moves out of the way like that and pipe slides off and then just maneuver around so there's that air pipe out so Already, you can see, got a lot more room to work with. So next up, just pop this up there. So this pipe, make sure everything you got to get. There's another clip here that you need to remove. There's one down the back there, and then there is also one further round back. So yeah. That's that. But well, on the way to the rocker cover. So another thing, you'll need to take off 17 there, 17 there to set the fuel pipe off. So. One.
You know, just me or is petrol one of the nicest smells in the world? Can't beat the smell of petrol. So that's that. Then you've got three T40s there for the injector rail. I believe this, if I remember rightly, the T40s, isn't it? Yep, T40s. So move all three T40s. Like so. Into your organizer trip. Then what you need is a little pry bar to wiggle this out. Not the easiest thing to do. Uh, sometimes your injectors come with it, some quite often they don't, so you just have to take it as it comes, I'm afraid. Never, not the never the easiest thing to, in the world to do in this, <clears throat> just because there's very little room to actually get into get them out. So I've got one end popped. There we go. And as you can see, it's left the injectors behind. Not a problem. Because all we'll do is, when we're reinstalling the fuel rail, is spray silicon spray at the top of the injectors and then reseat it back on. So that's them. Next, what you need to do is, down where the injectors are, there's the injector plugs. So just get your lot, a decent pick down to the injector plug. And then you need to pop the clip in so you can remove the plug like so and do that for all three again because i'm i'm not the tallest of people and the car's lifted up already not, don't make it the easiest for dwarfs like me. There we go. So that's all three of them. And best thing to do, get these off. One, two, so them. That's them out of the way. So then that means that rocker, the rocker cover's got more room to manoeuvre out. Uh, at this point, I think what I'll do is remove the... No, I won't, I won't bother with... I don't need to remove the fuel pump. Uh, I don't think. I might be able to... I should be able to manoeuvre it out without. Uh, the two... VVT solenoid plugs, remove them, so then at least the wiring can move out the way so you don't damage it when you're removing the rocker cover. So that's them out of the way. Take the dipstick out, give it a wipe down so then at least there's no oil dripping everywhere. Because you'll need that out anyway because it gets in the way. So, next up, what I think I'll do is take off a couple of these uh, heat shield bolts so they're out the road. I will if I can think, remember where I put my little impact gun down there. Two. One thing to be careful of is when you're working around this area where the vac pump is, be careful of these little plastic one-way valves for the um, vacuum pipes because 
they have a tendency to break and up until recently you couldn't actually get them like they were there weren't any available anywhere they were just they didn't manufacture them so you had to buy a full vac pump and i think they were a few hundred quid probably probably 500 pounds so yeah very 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 expensive mistake That's that nut out of the way. Ah, that's hot. Hey up, Joshy boy. I made a boob. You made a boob? I ordered the wrong one. You ordered the wrong what? I ordered an XC instead of a HC. It's a very old camera. But we've gained a 64 gig mega. 64 gig memory card. <laughs> SD card. Micro SD, how big? Micro SD, yeah? Beautiful. That's exactly what we need for our GoPro. So now we've got two. It looks like we've got half a bird, but we've got exactly the same amount of the calcium. Ah, yeah. Uh, you'll have to turn, get the microphone out and turn it on, mate. Michael? Michael Fern, yep. Because we're currently live. Well, we're not live, but we're... We're not, we're not quite at that level to be uh, live. In the drawer. That sounded broken, whatever it was that went over that bump. Dave. Oh, Hello, back, his, Michael. His, his back box is uh, hanging off on it, isn't it? Probably. It's Dave. Bloody good, Michael. Sir, I believe. Anything called love. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, no. There we go. Another heat shield out the way. So, yeah, we'll. We'll make a nice steady progress in getting towards getting this uh, rocker cover um, removed. That's hell of a light, you know, that ring light, isn't it? Yeah, that one up there. It's not bad at all, is it? So, one next thing I think Ooh. will be. Just found a bag in the box. Oh, nice. He, he has been warned about smoking people. Well, actually, there's open petrol lines on this one, so it might not be the best idea smoking just above it. Bear with. That's better, Josh. He I've stepped moved, away. I've moved a whole foot. To someone like me, that's a long foot. That's a long way. It is. That's half your height. Cheeky fucker. <laughs> Sorry, people. But I think he was very rude there. <laughs> and if anyone agrees, please feel free to comment. Very rude. Very rude. It's a indeed. bloody rude show, this one, isn't it? Yep. But it's the bants, isn't it, Josh? Still waiting for Chris to hit me up. Professional struggler. Hit him up. He's your biggest fan. The biggest. Mainly because of his weight, but... Oh, sorry, did I say that? I'm joking. <laughs> that was rude. That was, well... Very rude. Goes around, comes around, Josh. It's very true, Matthew. It's very true. Right, so anyway, 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 I'm just, I'm cracking on without saying anything. And that's what I'm used to doing. But yeah, so we're at the point where the rocker cover is nearly off. You'll need, there's a pipe here. You can't see, let me just see what you guys can see. Yeah, so this pipe here, you just need to, as that one was, you need to squeeze it together, push it back out the way. So then that's, uh, that's it's one of the uh doodahs i can't even think of what it's called my mind's gone blank doodah it's yeah a doodah. it's a doobie me what's it anyway yeah so you get that pipe off push that to the back these two is it some sort of oil breather it is a breather that's exactly what it is mate i'm here for you well done right i'm going yep. in uh these two back lines push them out of the way and then unbolt all the rocker cover bolts and then it should come out so instead of me just saying it which i was not doing before no instead I, of you just doing it I was, instead of just doing it i was saying it and now i'm saying it not doing it so now i'm gonna do it you just confused everybody yep but All not 150 me. old subscribers are now mega confused yep we're at 152 subscribers by latest count guys which is a lot further than i ever expected it to go so, so we tell your friends and your families to subscribe yeah 
We very much, everybody. We very much appreciate it. When we get to a thousand subscribers, we're going to give away something fancy. Are we? Well, what are you planning on giving away? I don't know. Just sounds good, doesn't it? I know what we could give away. <laughs> what? An M and J hoodie. Oh yeah, we could actually. That'd be quite. Yeah, nice. when we get to a thousand subscribers, we will do a giveaway of an M and J automotive hoodie for somebody. I know what we could give away. Go on. We could make another clock. Oh yeah, uh, or or a clutch clock. Like, in fact. Oh, that's a one brilliant minute. idea. Let me just so you're not seeing too much of me garage because it's a shit hole. Or you could have a snazzy clutch clock that is made from one of our customers vehicles <laughs> so yeah uh yeah if you when we get to the thousand subscribers we'll do a lot we'll do a draw and then you can have the choice between the two we'll either make you summit or we'll order you a hoodie so i wonder if there's a way of finding out who the thousand subscriber was there is is there yeah because I've I've found out recently that I actually get emails when we get a subscriber. <laughs> have yeah. you got 152 emails? Yes. I have 152 emails. So I know everybody's name who's subscribed, and I and I appreciate you all massively. Mm. Every single one. And it's free. What else do you get for free these days? Nothing. Nout. Nout. I'm not tall enough, Josh. Like me to do it. Oh, would you like your wheel? Can you get me? Can you get me my my step? Going in in fifteen minutes. You're, you're going in in fifteen minutes. Oh, you are. I'm up to nine. Yeah. Let's. See. The nine o'clock rule. Nine o'clock rule. Curfew. You see. That makes me sound like I'm whipped. Well, not whipped, <laughs> uh, co convict or something. Uh, whipped. Do you want to go in and argue with her? <laughs> Absolutely not. Thanks for the offer. Your brew's going cold. My dad's just made you that. I appreciate your dad making me a brew, but I need to get this off. Like that. Yep. If at first you don't succeed, pull the trigger harder. No, put the socket on first and then just lightly get the Waz. Waz it off it wears it off should be a bolt down there yeah there is these are all 10 millimeters by the way just in case i've not mentioned it which i don't think i have <coughs> this brew is choking me every time i try and drink it why what? i don't know it just is <coughs> your dad tried to poison you probably he tried to poison me for not being able to fix his camera but you don't claim to be a camera fixer, Josh, do you? I don't. Don't claim to be many things. You don't claim to be a mechanic either. Nope. Because he's not. Nope. We won't reveal his occupation. But I am a if professional. You, if you would like to guess it, you're more than welcome. <laughs> Anybody who knows me, don't cheat. <laughs> yeah. Another famous YouTuber. It was, it was, well, getting famous. Who had the same job, but I think he was a better version of what I did. Go on. I'm not telling you who he is. Because then people know what he did, eventually. I probably wouldn't know it. I probably no. wouldn't know who he is. No. I'll tell you off camera. Okay, mate. <coughs> mm. Again. I want to drink my brew and start coughing. Maybe the steam. Maybe the what? The steam. The steam? Right, need a ten then. Special effects. Oh, I've got a smoke tester, you know. I know it's called Josh. No, I actually have a proper one. I know. I'm aware of this. You've seen it. I see it. I didn't see it work. I see it. Right, that's uh, crusty. Where's a hammer? Where's a hammer? Hammer. Get another one out. <coughs> okay. That feels like it's caught. That'll be a good hammer. That is one of my oldest hammers. 
I've had that one for a very long time, Josh. Yeah. Like old things. Um, so next up is I need to get that wire in. Mm. I remember. Like we've done this before. It is like we've done this before, Josh. Funny that, isn't it? Mm. I'm a bit of a pig as well. So yeah, there's a wiring loom that runs down here that's in a plastic casing and it actually sits onto the... You've got the cable tie there. I can't see the cable tie. The cable tie just there. I'm is guessing it? that's holding it to something. No, that's not, I don't think it is, no. That's not part of the clips. Uh, right, so... No, it's literally just... Okay, so it needs to come off there. Right, I'm going to cut out a minute and cut back in because I just want to make sure that the audio is actually recording and this 24 and a half minute video is for not for nothing. Right, so we're back in and the audio is recording, which I'm very pleased about. Oh, hang on a minute. And I'm just going to have my brew. Mm hmm? So... Right so there. Yeah, it is right there. Yeah, so it just needs, it needs to go up. Does it need it to go, go up? It needs to go up, yeah. There's probably another one down here. Yeah. Sit down. Yeah. That one. Yeah, take that off and then that should be loose. And then you'll be able to get back and off. Take that off, he says. Come on, Josh. Yeah, he's broke the cable he's broke the cable tie, that's fine. We shall re We shall re cable tie it afterwards. So now never ideal this bit, but There you go, she's going. She is going. Alright, let me just shift shifty some bits about. Right. Little bear, little bear, little bear. Yep. It went, it going. It's a little, it's a little bleeder, is that, isn't it? Yes, it's out at the road. Right, so now. Out at the road. Out at the road. For anyone who doesn't understand that, it means it is out of the way. It has moved. Have you seen that? American gadget. I don't know what it's called. It does shorts about people not knowing how to use them. Oh, like people saying how weak they are because they don't crack bolts off. And it's like they're not designed. Yeah, but they're to not crack designed to crack off. bolts off. It was like a ratchet to crack it. Yeah, you got a point. It does. Yeah, because they're not designed to. You can get them to, but they're not. It's not what they're made for. Right. So that should actually be. Let's find somewhere where I can actually prize the. I'm get it in there. There's not many places where you can actually get to it very well. Surprise though. Yeah, dead. Yeah. Yeah, that ain't good show. Don't damage the I'm, not, I'm just going to hold that under there so it doesn't drop all the way down. And I'm just gonna... There she flies. There she flies. There. Hold on tight. This baby is about to take flight. So anyway, as you can see, that is Nearly. loose. I say loose, yeah. It is loose, it's just tying up with by getting tied up by the fuel pump that I said I didn't need to remove. And guess what? I need to remove it. Don't break the bolt. No, because it's not got one of those weak ones in. And it no. No, it's not going to the weak ones in. Time we on, Josh. Nearly five to nine, like six to nine. Six to nine. Not sixty-nine. Six to nine. Mm. And they are eight millimeter head bolts. If you. Uh, we ever wish to know. Smells amazing. Those done it. I actually I said that earlier. I said if anyone knows a better smell than petrol, they need to comment. Matty don't like diesel, do you? No, no, it stinks. 
It stinks. He reckons he'd prefer it to excrement, which I don't quite no. understand. No, I reckon I'd prefer the smell of excrement to the smell of diesel. Your own excrement. Oh. Somebody else's excrement. Surely. Surely. Surely not. You've, no, you've clearly never been to the toilet after me, Josh. Funnily enough, mate, I haven't. No one would want to smell that. No. But anyway, as you can see, the rocker cover is off. I have a question. Go on. What? Yeah, there's petrol in there. Lots of petrol in yeah. there, isn't there? Yeah. But it, it will evaporate. It will evaporate. It smells amazing. It does. I've so now yeah. got it on my finger. It's so like a sniff. scratch and sniff. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's the rocker cover off. Uh, so now the... Time belt is visible and it is as crusty as the last one. Yeah, it is. And what we're going to need to do is measure the width of that time belt actually because there are two variations on that. And so, they're like fucking 0.5 of a. Yeah, one's like 18. Skin one's like 18.1, I think the other's 16.8 or something like that. There's not a lot in it, but yeah, you need to measure really it. Ridiculous. Uh, so, yeah. But anyway, that is the end of that video. Um, well, it's the end of that section, this video, video for this bit. It's the end of this video. Yeah. Um, We're not doing I'll... anymore. We're going to give it back to the lady whose car this is, as it is, and say, fix it yourself. No, we're not. Because we're not like that. We're nice people here. We are nice. We're overly nice sometimes. But yeah. Um, yeah, so that's the end of this section. Uh, it is going to be... I, what I will do is I'll probably, when we're building it all back up, Ooh, I'll... Hello. When we're refitting the rocker cover, I'll come back in, film that, so I can talk you through the tightening talks of the rocker cover and then build it, and then probably a time lapse of building that section back up. So, yeah, um, we'll see you guys in the next bit. Like and subscribe!